Right, so over the past couple of years I've been doing some bits and bobs with ROIP and what I've been using is a Vox based circuit. So what we've got inside here is um, a new interface that I've made and basically what this is is you've got USB input and then the output for the uh, radio and everything in between. So the idea of this is that it's entirely COM port keying, there is no Vox whatsoever. Um, so this is a, a proper COM port keying device, it'll be suitable for stuff like free radio network. Um, again, audio transformers to totally isolate the uh, audio stages. Again, the audio ground, uh, the audio input, audio output grounds are separate. So is the press to talk ground, so is the USB ground, all the grounds are separate. Um, this time I've not used uh, a relay for the press to talk, I've used a, a little opto isolator. Um, so that's pretty much that really, it's quite simple. Um, just here we've got a couple of tiny little trim pots uh, for the input and output uh, audio levels. I just have them on full blast, I may well emit them on the next one and just have jumpers. Um, they're not particularly necessary but that's pretty much it really USB comes in and it goes to this uh, USB hub which is far bigger than it needs to be um, the USB hub is um, hijacked to this let me just turn this around here <coughs> excuse me it's hijacked to this uh, USB to serial converter so that we've got a serial output I could have just kept it as USB but I want it to be a smart arse. Um, there's actually eight ports on here, eight possible devices you could plug in. Um, I've only got two on here, there's this and then there's the um, USB sound card which is there. Um, there's no particular reason, I mean looking at it now there's enough room, um, you could have uh, a little USB uh, memory stick so that the, uh, the whole interface has got some memory you could put all your radio related programs on there all your uh, code plugs from various different radios, bits and bobs like that and that's pretty much it really this is the case looks like the sort of thing that I've bought, doesn't it, on eBay uh, well, no, that's not strictly the case the way these cases come supplied is like that they're twice the size, well twice the length and uh, I've actually cut this in half um, to make this I now have two small cases like this out of one um, okay, so let's put it all together. So this is it fully assembled, or well, 99% assembled anyway. Um, for the purposes of the demonstration, I've only put two of these uh, screws in the back. Now these are what are supplied with every project box on the planet. They are horrible, cheap, nasty little things. The heads snap off really easily. The thread on them is really coarse they don't sit flush with the lid I don't know if it's easy for you to see this, they don't sit flush with the lid they're a chamfered edge but the uh, plate isn't countersunk to deal with that so they always stick up proud um, I could countersink the um, plate um, but I don't want to modify the plate just to accommodate these cheap nasty little things So. Today I went down to my local uh, DIY store and I bought some uh, Allen key heads. These are a far, far higher quality. Um, I've had to drill out the uh, holes going down the insides and uh, re-tap them. Um, and it was a bit of a panic job today, to be honest with you. Um, God only knows how or why, but I've dropped one on the floor here and I'm damned if I could find it. Uh, I spent half an hour looking, I just cannot find it. Um, I don't know if you can just see in the reflection there, you can see these lines in the paintwork. That's where I've actually marked out uh, where the holes need to be. Um, I've, I've actually scored them into the metal. So what I'm going to need to do is um, give this paint some time to dry and I'll whiz over it with some uh, 600 wet and dry paper until it's all flush again and then go over it with a quick blast of filler primer wait for that to dry 
whiz over that with some 600 wet and dry paper to bring it back flat again and then go over it with another layer of black and I'll get rid of these lines uh, next time I go to do this I can use this plate as a template anyway but um, it's quite simple you've got your USB socket you've got your RJ45 radio socket you've got the uh, power indicator and you've got um, transmit indicator and that's all there is on it very rugged and the two indicators and the two plugs sorry the two sockets are behind the plate nothing sticks out flush so I would be quite happy I'm on the third floor here I'd be quite happy dropping this out of the window go back downstairs some of the paint would be scuffed but other than that it'd be fine it'd be a hundred percent I know that it'd work so quite a rugged little device um, this is the sort of uh, cable that I can make up um, box standard flat RJ45 um, compatible stuff RJ45 plug this is the uh, plug to go into an MTM 800 or the uh, Motorola DM series radios it could be anything it could be for a Kirison handheld it could be for anything um, so you've got your uh, RJ45 lead that plugs into there and I'm sure you can imagine what happens next you've got your uh, bog standard USB um, B um, plug this is the sort that goes into printers and that plugs into there and that's it that's all the, that's all the setting up that is required everything else is on the um, software all the rest of it is is done via software okie dokie we'll move on to this thing actually running I think right just while we're waiting for the uh, MTM 800 to fire up I'll just go through the uh, the plug stroke sockets again I know it's no big deal but um, we've got the RJ45 lead um, the opposite end of that is here and that plugs into the back of the uh, MTM 800 um, and then we've got the USB lead which also just plugs in on the front of the interface and it'll power up okay what I'm gonna do now is just use my handheld to speak to the MTM 800 I'm gonna use a SRH 3800 and the network that I'm using at the minute is free radio network and I'm using their parrot system so anything I say will be repeated back to me okay just bear with me here test 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 this is a test it's nothing more it's nothing less it's merely a test this is an audio test using free radio network parrot Okay, what I'll demonstrate here is um, what I'm going to do is press the press talk switch and then almost immediately I'm going to start counting and I'll just count up to say, I don't know, 10 quite quickly and the idea is, is just to see what is played back. What this will demonstrate is um, would somebody speaking across this system, would it miss the first couple of words that they say or the first syllable? Um, let's see what happens using comport keying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just watch the red LED. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's pretty quick, isn't it? Um, listen for the superior alert tone I'm just going to let's see what we're on here um, I'll stick it on full tone so that you get all the tones you'll hear me key up um, 
because you'll hear the sound that says I've keyed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was uh, a little bit quick there, and it did just miss the start of the one. But normally, it's uh, it's pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty much the finished product. Um, it's quite simple what it does. It's uh, nothing special, I suppose, but it it just shows you what it's capable of. How simple this thing is. You know, me, I actually like how simple it is. It doesn't uh, it doesn't shout about what it does, but what it does do, it does very very well. Um, you know, it's I'm quite happy to. You know, bump it about on that. This is this is not a prototype. This is something I'd be quite happy supplying to you know local council or whatever. Um, you know, I've got no no doubt in my mind whatsoever that I could throw this out the window, uh, go downstairs, retrieve it, and it would work just fine. So this is pretty much it. Um, I will make these up for people if if you want one making up. It'll work on free radio network. Um, it should work on other stuff as well, like uh, all the various amateur radio data modes. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Uh, thanks for watching. If if you guys like what I'm doing, hit the like button. If you don't like what I'm doing, hit the dislike button. Uh, leave me a comment, letting me know what you think. If, uh, if you've got any ideas or suggestions as to what I could build next, please, by all means. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you later.